Revs coming up. We're green. Big boom coming off the three. Two, three, four breast in some spots. Side by side action. He absolutely nailed it. Three-way battle. And we've got an incident. You would expect nothing less. Oh, oh. flips the inside apex. Very racy. This is going to get into That is a brave move. What a pass. This is what World Challenge is all about. This is the Cadillac V-Series Challenge at Belle Isle. On behalf of all our friends at Optima Batteries, our dealers and employees from Cadillac worldwide, drivers, start your engines! Waiting for the acceleration cone as they come down. Johnny O'Connell, it is green flag there. Boy, Randy Popes was on the brake pedal there. Johnny O'Connell slides in there. James Stefanis into third. That is Mike Skeen in the Hawk Performance Nissan GTR on the outside of Andy Kroger now. And big shunt here in the front there. Not sure what happened there as Nick Janssen hard into the wall in his Kia Motors America there. Was not watching that, unfortunately. Not sure what happened, but we do see the steering wheel up on the uh, roll cage now of Nick Janssen there. And Another look at it from a little lower angle. And the GT field obviously getting through clean. Here we go. And yeah. yeah, it looks like Nick actually went across the front of P.D. Cunningham yeah. there. And um, one of those deals that you think you got the room there coming from the inside, trying to get to the inside for that turn number one to protect your position there, and uh, that happened to be a car there. Johnny bringing him up slow, wants to use the torque of that big V8 as we go green. And Johnny O does lead him down into turn one with Pope slotting in behind, then Sophronis, Pilgrim, Figgy, and a nice start by Tim Pappas as he picks up a spot as well. And then that huge GT field slotting through. Yeah, great battle here between Wilkins, Baldwin, now Cunningham. Cunningham all over the ABS there. You saw the rear end of that car stepping out as he came down on the brake pedal. Yeah, working it hard right now. And it was interesting to see that, as I said, that Kia, that front end just pushing a little bit. That's pretty good. Here's the battle for second overall. Popes really feeling the heat from Andy Pilgrim. And look at Johnny O'Connell with that clear track and clearly just a little bit quicker right now than Randy Popes. Johnny has just uncorked that caddy and it is booking right now. And there's Mike Skeen, but some smoke emanating from the back of that Nissan GTR. Again, very much a development program. And Dean Case trying to get down the inside of Andy Lee. Andy Lee, there was room between Case and that outside tire bundle for a Camaro and a sheet of paper. And Andy Lee said that'll work and was able to fend him off. We're watching that beautiful Motul stop tech. Porsche of Jack Baldwin chasing that Kia Motors America, Kia Optima in the battle for the lead in GTS. Now lap traffic starts to play. Where do these guys catch lap traffic? And right there, Randy caught Buzz McCall. Yeah, and that could really blunt Randy's moving. Oh, Sophronis, a huge wiggle behind him as he was trying to get on the throttle, trying to do something. And that's just a short shoot. He wasn't able to do anything with it. Uh, as uh, talking about Andy Pilgrim trying to get around Popes. Oh, and Alex Figgy has kissed the wall hard coming out of the Fountain Complex around the media center That's area out of, turn, out of 11, I think. The 13 right oh, there. 13. We see him on the yep, straightaway exactly. over down. Yeah. Oh, and we got Petey Cunningham is in the barriers as well. Boy, oh, you don't no. ever see Petey Cunningham. Yeah, it looks like there like might that. be some fluid down is the report that we're getting, and it looks like, oh, my gosh, Petey Cunningham might have got caught up in that, but it's uh, some speculation on that. But it looks like the wheel is broke. The Cadillac V-Series Challenge at Belle Isle, presented by De Metro Detroit Cadillac dealers. We are about to go back to green. 11, call it 12 minutes remaining here at Belle Isle. Watch for it, folks, and listen for it. Nice and easy. He's bringing them up. There it is. And he has done it. Look at James Sophronis immediately looking to the inside of Pilgrim. Look at Tommy Dreesey trying to get around the outside of Duncan Andy in that Audi right in the middle of your screen. And Lawson Aschenbach up into third on that restart. Meanwhile, here's that battle. Wilkins now has himself a whopping three-car length margin over Baldwin. And Lawson Aschenbach is hungry. And look at that. Dean Martin has gone around Andy Lee. Boy, Dean Martin is having a fabulous weekend. But the battle still continues here with fourth now. James Safran is trying to get Andy Pilgrim into third. But Andy looks to the inside. Martin denies him again. That was a little bit of help. I think that was a little touch there. Rubbin's racing there, but Andy Lee putting the bumper to him. And Dean Martin's car is very, very loose. Yeah. So look at Safran now on the inside taking a peek. Safran inside, back outside. This is it. The last couple of corners on to the main straight, the pit straight. Here we go, feeding the throttle. Taggart 
in the Lotus, moves over. O'Connell has the margin, and he will come home his third straight win at Belle Isle. Popes will bring it home in second. Mark Wilkins from the first pole of the season for the Kinetic Kia Motors America team, and to the win, the Canadian Mark Wilkins brings it home.